Today we're in the den, which is a good thing because it's getting over 100, 100 degrees here in the Dallas area. I wanted to talk about the the extra fuel version of the debt destruction engine again, just briefly. Remember there were seven accounts, three credit card, two store revolving accounts, and two finance company accounts in the example we used previously. Now, you, if you put $40 extra on bill one as we explained in the previous example, let's assume you started with uh, a total amount of payments of $1,000. You add up the payment due on each of the seven accounts and it totaled $1,000. So you're making the minimum payment due on bills two, two through seven. On bill one, you're paying the minimum required payment plus $40. Now, what happens when you do this? The second month, if you total up the total payments due, let's say it came to nine hundred eighty seven dollars so you make the minimum required payment on bill two through bill seven on um, bill one minimum required payment again plus forty so the total you're putting nine eighty seven plus forty is a thousand and twenty seven dollars then the third month the total you put on bills all together when you add, add all seven accounts together and then add 42, which you're putting on the target bill on bill one, let's say it comes to, um, to $962. So if you, you add 40 to that, that's $1,002. So you, the point is you, you reach a point in maybe the fourth or fifth month where if you you add up the total amount you put on bill paying is less than it than the, than the amount you started with so it has both an a disadvantage and an advantage the disadvantage of the extra fuel version it's as, it's as slower than inherent momentum but the advantage if you want to call it that is that you you put you reach a point where you're putting less money on bill paying than you were at the beginning so it frees up cash that you can use just to add to your living expenses or to add to your emergency fund if you're trying to build one so what this means there are two big ifs here. If you can find a way to not add any additional charges to your accounts, which is a big if, we'll give you some help in, in uh, figuring out how to do that later on. If you can do that, and let's say you, you can't scrape up enough money for the long term to pay to do the inherent momentum thing you can't do a block payment the same amount all the way through for for two or three or four years however long it takes but you can you figure your bills and you can scrape it together some extra money for three or four or five months because you know that you'll reach a point with even when you pay the minimum required payment on bills two through seven and you add forty dollars to the minimum required payment on bill one you will reach a point you where you you're putting less money than than the thousand dollars if you added up all seven at the beginning it was a thousand dollars of it was due you reach a point even with act, adding the extra forty to the target bill to bill one in the beginning and to whatever the target bill is as it goes on as you destroy your bills you reach a point where you're putting less than a thousand dollars and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller the effect it is it makes it take longer than inherent momentum 
but also it frees up cash. So the way this would work for you, if you just can't do the inherent momentum thing, but you can find a way to not charge anything additional, and you figure, well, I, I could scrape some extra money together for like four or five months, and after that, even with adding the extra 40, it, the total amount put on bills will go will get lower and lower and lower to like it'll give reach a point where it's like 850 a month it'll go on down 770 a month so and so forth which like I said makes it take a lot longer uh, of course the more money you put on the target bill at the beginning the fest of the process will work so any, that, anyway that's a point uh, something I've wanted to point out about the difference between the extra fuel version and inherent momentum. Inherent momentum is faster but you have to pay that block amount all the way through and it, it's really tough so you might consider those the difference between the, the two. That's all we're going to talk about today uh, the next vi video will look at inherent momentum with extra fuel. We'll, we'll go into, into that. Thank you for now.